What's up? Stevie D from Testament here. On the Bass Strikes Back Tour. It's a tour of three prominent Bay Area thrash bands, Testament, Exodus, and Death Angel. And on this tour with the three bands, we have three amazing bass players. So we will be talking to Jack Gibson from Exodus, Damian Sisson from Death Angel, as well as myself. We're gonna be going behind the scenes and in the lowdown of what each bass player has brought to play as far as the instrument, the gear, the techniques, and things that bass players do on a tour. This show is oriented right on the base of the Bay Area Thrash Band. How's it going? Stevie D here. And we've been talking on this show a lot about the tech nerd stuff behind the bass players of the tour. And on this episode, we're going to go into basically what bass players do on a day of tour life. And so today, we're in Brussels, Belgium on a day off. Tonight, no concert. And Sometimes we are in really nice cities like this. Like we had a day off in London, we had a day off in Barcelona. And um, nights like this where we end up on a really nice hotel. Really uh, it's nice and clean, comfy hotel. And um, some nights we are in kind of in uh, bumfuck towns, maybe close to a truck stop or something. We don't really get to do much, but Sometimes when we are in these nice cities, I like to go out, you know, usually it's in search of some good food. Um, also, you know, some cool shops. I don't really shop for CDs anymore. No one really does, but any kind of cool local knickknacks. Um, that's about all I can handle is city life. Um, I haven't done too much of sightseeing in the past. Um, every now and then there's something cool, historic to visit, but um, we, you, you're a repeat visitor to these places, you've kind of seen it, so my tendency is to kind of migrate out a little bit more, you know, find a park or a lake, walk on, you know, nature paths, get some trees, debris, it's a little bit different than the uh, smoky venues that we play in every night. Um, but just like anybody else at our age that tours this much, a lot of times days off are really just a chance to get out of the bus, out of the venue, and just get away from people um, and just decompress. You know, it's the best thing. So it's a variety of a lot of things, but I think overall I kind of just really take it easy. Um, show days is a little bit more of a routine. There's a schedule posted that we have to follow. Um, I usually stay up till the sun comes up so that causes me to be one of the last ones to crawl out of my bunk but that's kind of a good thing for me it seems like a lot of guys in the band and the crew get up around the same time and they're kind of crowded in the venue waiting in line to shower and you know kind of doing the same thing at the same time where me I'm walking to an empty dressing room everyone's done their thing and I can ease into becoming human showering and getting dressed, eating, and all the things that, that a normal person does, you know, kind of that anti-flow, you know, go against the crowd, it's a bass player thing. Um, you know, that just basically takes us up to sound check, where it's boring sound check, we run through stuff, technical stuff, but I'll go over with my bass tech Carlos about anything from the state of the strings or you know, what's what's been changed, what needs to be changed, you know, anything maybe with the ear monitors, you know, if we got radio frequencies or any kind of mixing changes, that's about it. And then from there, there's just kind of a lot of relaxing and, you know, there's a dinner, sometimes we do autographs. Um, and really that takes me up to pre-prep time, which really is no big deal. I don't do any kind of warm up, uh, no stretches, I'm not working on any of the music or anything. So basically I just, go to my station that's set up nice and I'll pour myself 
the first cocktail of the day. What are some specific details you do to take care of your bake player for the bake player today? For you, I know exactly the routine. Uh -huh. Make sure that I do not wash your wristband, okay. do not wash your pants, have vodka for you, have two cups, tall, big round openings, have a straw in each cup, uh, Pellegrino Lemonada, plenty of ice, and a good mixer to go with the Pellegrino. Maybe an orange Fanta, we can mix things up. Schweppes is good, but that's a hard one to get. And then, anything else specific, special, but just kind of pick up the dirty clothes and move on. It's Groundhog's Day. On Fox. Over and over. Uh -huh. And then the bar set up next day, and there we go. Same routine, same drinks. Same smell. Well, I appreciate that. It keeps me fueled up for to play. <laughs> Thank you. Mm -hmm. All right. Thanks, Steve DiGiorgio. <laughs> and work on that while I just kind of get myself in a mental space. Nothing really deep, nothing anything specific, but I just kind of distance myself. Like maybe during the day if some friends are there, I like to get away from them or interviewers get away and just kind of be around the band members and just slowly ease into my sweaty stage clothes. <laughs> and yeah, that's about it. And then we go up on stage. I'll make, an, I'll make a fresh cocktail for the stage with, with um, with ice, of course, which uh, my trusty base tech puts in my custom drink holder. And we just plow through the set. And at the end, I'll huddle with him for three, four seconds, discuss anything went wrong during the set, which happens almost never. It's 90 something percent success. Give him a quick hug, thanks. He's pulling up cords, I'm off, change into the bus for a late night stack and many hours of socializing with my guys and that's kind of what leads me to stay up so late till the sun comes up it's about it man just pretty routine show days and combined with a little sprinkling of these nice days off i think um rounds out what this bass player does on tour see you next time so what's it like for Steve DiGiorgio to be in my band? What's it like for Steve DiGiorgio to be in my band? Well, we eat a lot. <laughs> oh wait, he's he plays bass actually? Whoa. It's a lot of fun. We like to uh, go trip around when we have days off. Like right now we're at an empanada place. And uh, so yeah, Steve's uh, Cool dude, man. We like to hang out on days off and uh, we eat lots of food. Like right now, we're at an empanada place. We're in Barcelona, Spain. Um, bass playing, ah, yeah, whatever. Fucking bass players are bass players. You know how it goes. And uh, no, he's a badass bass player. But uh, yeah, it's a lot of fun, man. We have a lot of fun while on tour. It's killer. Damien's back with me. What's up, Damien? How's it going, man? All right. Not long. Anyway, so just a nice little chat about Damien. <laughs> you know? <laughs> um, so we just come from London. Right. Pretty good show there. But before the show, we had a free day, yeah. day off. Yeah. So what do you do? What kind of stuff does Damien do on days off? Yeah, typically on a day off, I'll try to go about and explore, see what I can. I like architecture. We don't got the type of architecture in America that we have here, so I usually try to go around. Uh, church has got a lot of gothic uh, architecture. There's some modern ones. Barcelona's got some type of crazy Gaudi type. Barcelona. <laughs> Barcelona was amazing. It was incredible. But London was like a rainy day, so on London, I literally left the bus to use the bathroom and I came back. <laughs> that was it on London. But other days, I try to go explore. You know. Yeah, so that's it. Sometimes days off could be just totally recoup day. Yeah, absolutely. Like if you get a hotel or something, even you yeah. just. Call room service, feed yeah. up. What I usually do is I kind of I try to case the, case the joint, as they say, see what everybody else is doing. And it's, it so happens like one person's like, oh, I'm going to get a hotel, or someone else is like, oh, I'm going to get a hotel. And when it all comes down, pretty soon I realize 
I got the bus to myself, you know? So I'm like, yeah, maybe I won't get a hotel. But if the reverse was to happen, everybody's gonna stay on the bus, I'm like, I'm getting a hotel, so. Yeah, you need some away time from the guys, right, right. which is a good balance. Yeah. It's not like, right. it's not like there's bickering and fighting, but right. when you create away time, it makes the time being kept together in a sardine can pretty enjoyable right. still, right? Or they say like, absence makes the heart grow blinder. <laughs> <laughs> no, but it's, it's a healthy <laughs> thing. Yeah. Right. I mean, right. We, need, we need time away from each other just to, what reset, uh, right, right, fresh air reset. Uh, I've always uh, liked what Bruce Lee said about uh, his philosophy about water. And Bruce Lee would always talk about life being like water, and that water flows to where there's space for it. It's never going to occupy a place that's full. And I kind of feel like, like that's that's my role on the tours to try to be like the water. If everybody's in one area, then I'll kind of flow to another area. If they come to that area, I'll move musical chairs to the next area. So I'm always trying to kind of find the. Dude, you just put there. poetically the way that I've always just managed my time with my right? guys. That's amazing. That's yeah. that's a bass player mentality. That's our role, especially in low profile. Right. Just let the let the herd step on each other. We kind of just create this. Yeah. Right, this right. opposite thing. Yeah. We're, we're, kind of, we're kind of the guy in the shadows who's checking stuff out. You don't know who's there. We already case the scene, we see what's going on, so when we need to come in and make our presence known, it's known because we've already seen everything that's going on and we've observed the environment. Yeah. Like, I think as a bass player in metal, that's really what we have to do. I mean, unless you're in these bands that, heavy metal bands that focus on bass, we really have to play a role in which we're kind of placating to what's available. You know, not just in a physical realm, but in the musical realm too. Like, you know, as everybody knows, Steve has probably influenced every single bass player in metal, and even he has to make sure that he finds a place for himself in the bands. Even with everything he's got going on, his incredible skills, he has to sometimes play it down to make sure that he creates room for other people. So our role is to fill what is available for us. Totally. Yeah. Oh, man, that's a good one. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so that's good variety on days off. Sometimes you're sightseeing, you're on the go. Sometimes you're just playing it low, recuperating yeah. and stuff. So what about show day? There's obviously a lot of routine involved because Absolutely. there's a schedule. Yeah. Um, so, yeah, so let us into the world of Damien's routine. My routine. You know, yeah, what do you do? I noticed, okay, well, not to jump the gun, but I noticed you, you take care of yourself physically and, you're, and you got to work out. So how do you work your exercise routine and everything else with showering, eating, you know, sound check, everything? Well, the, 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 there's always the analogy that being on tour is like Groundhog's Day, and I think there is some truth to that, and we're, it is a lot of times a repeated day. There's minor factors that are different, but we're on a schedule. So I try to wake up on the bus has stopped moving. Once the bus has stopped moving, I can get in here, I can see what's available, try to find a place to do my exercises where there's not going to be a lot of people. Because people come in and they're like, oh, what are you doing? You're like, I'm on the floor on a yoga mat. What do you think I'm doing, you know? Well, the bus, so that's what you said, when it stopped moving, that's pretty early. Yeah. So you're part of the first wave. Yeah, first wave of people. Yeah, because there's, yeah. there's, the, there's the second and the late, yeah, late wave. Right, right. So you're part, so that's early. So yeah. you can get in before a lot of people are up and about. I'm typically up when the crew is up. Uh, I also go to bed about when the bus moves. And I think it's just the whole, like the baby in a manger type of thing. When the bus starts moving, it just eases me to bed. It like vibrates just right, and you get in your bed and pull the curtain shut, and it's you know midnight all the time. But uh, once I get going, I, you know, I found for myself the first. I'm a little bit younger than some of the other people here, and uh, you know they got their, their experience of what they do. So when I first started joining this, I, I really try to go. You know, I try to hold my own as far as being a part of the festivities and the activities and the drinking and the partying that goes on. And I found really quick that I can't hang. I just found out really quick that I can't hang. I, I don't have the tolerance. I don't have the years of endurance and the years of practicing and partying these people did. So I had to find a new niche for myself and stay healthy. And uh, for me, what I do like to do is I do bring a, I bring a mat uh, anywhere I go. If it's America, I'll have a bicycle and I'll try to find a gym. In Europe, I'll bring a yoga mat. I'll just try to find, just like before, find an unoccupied place where I can lay down. Do some stretching, do some sit-ups, do some push-ups, do a couple mountain climbers, and basically get my blood flowing and try to keep my immune strong because we're all on a bus of 9, 10, 12 people. And I think we're based for pit players for a reason. Like, I mean, there's some people, we've said it before, there's some people get down, downgraded to being a bass player. For me, that's a, you know, that's a poor bass player. But there was, when I decided to play an instrument, like, I could tell that that was the instrument for me. There was no doubt that I wanted, I didn't want to be a drummer, I didn't want to be a guitar player, I didn't want to be a singer. When I came down, I was like, I can tell I am the bass player. Bass players player. are just cool. Yeah. Like jamming with Damien Sitar. I mean, it's great, man. I mean, Damien's a good guy. He's an outstanding bass player, you know. I'm fortunate enough to have him on stage left where I'm stationed. And, you know, just hearing him fucking his rolling bass sound and looking over at him. He has his own vibe, the way he dressed, the way he performs. And, you know, there's certain songs where 
you know, it helps me play good because I know what he's playing is so beautiful. Other than the, that part, the musician part, I mean, Damien's cool to hang with, you know. Usually he's always solo bolo on his own, you know, wandering the earth, working out and all that. But, you know, when he comes, when he comes back, back to planet death and goes from wandering, cool guy, cool guy to hang out, very open-minded, you know, laid back, you know, very good looking and well built. And um, what can I say, man? Fortunate enough to have him as a bass player, a friend, a partner. So right now I want to bring up what Jack does. So a couple days ago we were in London. Mm -hmm. It was a great show, but the day before that we had a day off. Mm -hmm. So what is what do you like to do on days off? And even Barcelona, like nice city, mm -hmm. London, anywhere. I mean, what's the kind of things you like to do when you have nothing on your schedule? I usually, usually I get I just get a hotel room and just chill. I get my. I get all my stuff off the bus, I grab my suitcase, and I just go into the, the hotel, and I open it up, I pull everything out, I take my dirty clothes out of the mm. here, and I put it in there, and I take the clean clothes and put it back in the I, Yeah, where I get on the bus, and um, I just kind of get all my shit together where when I'm alone, instead of like crawling all over Tom and sure. Zetro to get to the you know top shelf in the bus, because when you get you know nine guys in a bus together like they ain't no they ain't no room mm -hmm. you know what i mean so uh i just kind of get away from get away from the guys and get away from everything and just kind of have a, a space yeah just a clean area. area yeah i don't even Reset. like i don't really go around and look at stuff so much anymore you know like the first my sights like, here i used to be but you know i mean i've been in all these towns you know 20 fucking times now yeah and uh like when I first got in the band, I was like, yeah, I'll go see the Eiffel Tower. You're younger, and it's your I want to go see the thing again. And I'm like, yeah, no, I'm just going to sit around here. See it, die. Yeah. yeah. To get, get, you know, and also the older I get, the the more rest I need. Yeah. yeah. And, all yeah. Of, and it kind of gets a little bit harder physically. So you're not like going to go out to the pub and drink all night kind of guy. No, I don't drink anymore. And that, that really kind of knocked my whole fun. The social thing fun is not as... Thing. Out. Yeah, um, well, that's so, good. I mean, you're staying healthy, taking care of yourself. Yeah, yeah, and then that's I how just, you. That's how you last so long. Yeah, know? yeah, yeah. I mean, I, you know, I mean, we <laughs> we punished ourselves for a very, very long time. <laughs> Some of us <laughs> have <laughs> for sure. <laughs> so uh, yeah, you know, it's just. Uh, I mean, as fun as this is to do, and as much as it's what I really like to do, like getting yourself away from it for a day. You know, sometimes it's, it's really refreshing. Just so you just use it as a break. Yeah. yeah. I think we all, like, as a band, um, like, we don't really like days off, though. Like, like when you come back after one day off, man, it feels like you've been gone a week. Yeah. You're like, what is this yeah. thing? And how do the I use it? Yeah. And, yeah. and, like, we're not as focused as we were, you know. Like, you get, when you're on tour, you get really tight and really focused on, you know, on the, the playing aspect. Every 24 hours. Just a, and just a day off, it like breaks that momentum, you know, kind of totally. and stuff. So, but it's good for the crew guys. They need, you know, like 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 they need rest. They're working hard. Right? They are working from you know, life like ours. From the morning <laughs> until the, till three a.m. and you know, so um, it's, it's. But that's a good transition. Days. So on show day, you know, what's your routine show day? Do you have anything special you do to get ready for the night? Well, no, not really, man. I um, I mostly try to stay out of the way of the crew. Um, you know, everybody's got a job to do, yeah. and if we're milling around and want to touch the bass, and I want to do this, and I want to do that, you're in somebody's way, and um, you know, so I try to do that kind of stuff at home and have my like know what I need to have here every day, yeah. and, not, and not really fuck with it if I don't. Have well, I for stories about your bus. I mean, it's pretty. Pretty lively boss. Yeah, yeah. And, and you're yeah. not drinking or doing anything, you're taking care of yourself, but are you involved in the socialization? Oh, yeah, totally. It's a good yeah. time to hang out and just 
Yeah, yeah. I mean, I'm pretty much up all night, and you know, um, I, you know, I was drinking with him for so many years. It's still just like what what I, what I do. The hang know? is the same, but the beverage is different. Yeah, yeah. I, I like the guys in the band. We're all we're all good friends, and we yeah. always. We always get crew that are our friends who, you know, we've used and, and we're close to. It's just one big family. Yeah, yeah. Cool. yeah. So, you know, it's, that's important. When you got to be on a bus, a bus with somebody for a month, dude. like if somebody's bugging you, it's really going to bug you. Yeah. You know? So, like, hiring crew can be real uh, important, not just for the job they do, but for what they do not on the job. A lot more than just the task. There's yeah. a whole social and personality. Right, right. Yeah, yeah, totally. yeah. So we like hire guys that, uh, I mean, you know, uh, my guitar tech right now from GP, like I've known him for almost 20 years. Yeah. You know, I mean, he's been- He's my tech one time way, way back in the day. And he loves us, killing. like he loves us all. He loves this group of people. Yeah. Well, cool. And so, yeah, that's about it. Go to sleep, wake up, do it again the next day. Yeah, Glad pretty much, man. Pretty much. I got I, I got it down now. Yeah. yeah, I think we've been doing it a while. Yeah, I, mean, I don't know.